Oh, good evening. Today brought a scattering of showers across the UK, but actually on balance, it was a decent day with a lot of dry weather and some spells of sunshine. A beautiful scene there for a weather watcher in Cornwall. This, though, really was just a drier, brighter interlude because through the rest of the week, we see the return of spells of heavy rain and potentially some very strong winds. You can see we were in a gap between weather systems today. Clear spells, just a few showers, but... Here comes another stripe of cloud. This is our next weather front, and that will be working in from the west as we head through this evening and tonight. Rain spreading quite quickly eastwards, but ahead of that rain band, where we keep clear skies across eastern parts, temperatures will at least for a time dip away. And some spots in northeast Scotland could get all the way down to freezing, but it will be milder out west with the clouds, the rain, and a strengthening wind. A very windy start to the day, particularly across Northern Ireland and Western Scotland. We could see wind gusts for a time close to 60 miles per hour. Tomorrow will bring cloud and outbreaks of showery rain quite erratically southwards and eastwards. It will stay quite windy through the day. Some brighter glimpses, some sunny spells, most especially, I think, across northern Scotland, maybe parts of southeast England for a time. Temperatures, if anything, a little up on where they were today, but still only between 14 and 17 degrees. Further spells of rain to move eastwards as we head through Thursday night and into Friday morning because low pressure will be firmly in charge. This weather front will bring some early rain across eastern and southeastern parts of England. That will clear away, and actually we will see the return of some sunshine on Friday, certainly across England and Wales. Northern Ireland and Scotland will see showers or longer spells of rain into the far northwest. It's another windy day, quite widely wind gusts in excess of 40 miles per hour. Could be stronger than that, though, across parts of Scotland, feeling particularly chilly in the north, just 11 or 12 degrees, 16 or 17 down towards the south. And low pressure dominates the scene into the weekend. This little weather system running in from the west could potentially spin up into quite a deep area of low pressure as it moves northwards. We'll have to keep a close eye on that because it could potentially bring some very strong winds indeed. Certainly the risk of gales through the weekend, some heavy rain at times. So if you have outdoor plans, do stay tuned to the forecast. Some sunny spells between the downpours and temperatures generally between 12 and 17 degrees.